It is so easy to run an ANOVA test in the CI84 calculator. So in this particular example, we've got three servers and their tips. Um, our null says that there's no significant difference between the averages and the alternative says at least one of them differs significantly. The very first thing that we wanna do is to get this data into the calculator. We're gonna to go to our stat menu and then enter for edit. So we hit enter. And now I wanna put in each of the server's tips. So server A is gonna go into list one. So I go three, enter, um, two, enter, four, enter, two, enter, four, enter. And then I'm gonna arrow over to get to to list two for server B. So four, three, and then the same for server C. Once I've got my data in, I wanna quit. So I hit second quit. I go back to my stat menu. This time I wanna run a test. So I arrow over to tests. It's the very last option in the test menu. So let's arrow up to grab ANOVA and then enter to select that. Now it's wanting to know where your data lives. My data is in L1, so I'm gonna hit second followed by L1 and then comma, which is above the seven, second L2, comma, second, L3, parenthesis, and then enter. It gives me all of the information that I need. F is my test value, but it also gives me this p-value. This is a really, really tiny p-value. Comparing that to my alpha of 0.05, I would absolutely reject this null hypothesis. The results listed under factor are for the between groups, and the degrees of freedom there is the numerator degrees of freedom. As I scroll down, I get some information about the error. I'm going to arrow down to reveal the rest of those results. The information under error are the within groups results. The degrees of freedom there is for the denominator. And then that SXP is going to be the pooled standard deviation. You guys got this. Take a look at these other videos that I have here on hypothesis testing. Thank you so much for watching.